Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some very big news to talk about in today's video because there is a brand new pack code that has been added to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team talking about a future stars party bag SBC that is gonna be coming here in the next two days, either today or tomorrow, this SBC is going to be dropping inside of FIFA, and I want to talk to you about what kind of cards are going to be available from this, how much is it going to cost, and what is it going to do to the market? Because again, right now we are in a market where a lot of coins are being drained. We had that Future Stars reunion player pick yesterday. That was a very interesting SBC. Really not that great a value, but still some pretty cool, I guess you could say, content. So we'll talk about how the market is going to react to this party bag SBC as well as EA just continue to drain coins off of this market and off of this game because the SBC content has been continually rolling out every single day on this game and that affects the market. So let's get into it and talk about this because this Future Stars party bag looks really, really sick. There's a lot. The three types of cards that are available from this party bag are freaking hype. So if you're excited for this party bag SBC, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's dive right into it, right? This is the pack code that has been leaked. And it's also a little bit refreshing, may I say, that this is like the old way. You know, when we didn't have leaks every single day on this game, we would just see stuff added to the code and we'd be like, oh my goodness, let's go. There's going to be a pack that's coming to this game. No leaks about this party bag yet, just this code. But a code added to the game means the pack is coming very soon. Now, the Future Stars party bag. Three different cards are going to be available from this pack, which will be available, in my opinion, through SBC. This is not a pack that's in the store. This is, this is a pack where EA is like, hey, we're going to make this cost some coins and make people, you know, do a gamble SBC, right? As we so often see in this game nowadays, Winter Wild Cards, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, and Future Stars Team Number One only. Future Stars Team Number One, those are the three types of players available from this party bag SBC. Those are some pretty good promos. There's some pretty good cards inside of each of those promo teams that are even pretty expensive still on this market right now. You think about winter wild cards. You've got guys like Neymar. You've got guys like Pogba. You know, plenty. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is available through that SBC or uh, through this SBC, right? Team of the Year honorable mentions. We just had those cards, right? Those are very hype cards. Holland, Foden, Bruno, Rudiger. Great cards in there. Future Stars Team One, of course, available right now. Bellingham, Vlahovic, Smith Rowe. Uh, Chalmeni, Ferran Torres, you know, there's a lot of great options that are available from this SBC and it makes you think that it might be kind of expensive. So if we're talking about how much would this cost, I really think, you know, we have to look back at this year's, we've had a few, we've had um, party bags already this year. We had two party bag SBCs during the winter wild cards promo that contained ones to watch rule breakers, Adidas numbers up and team of the group stage players. And these SBCs costed about 30,000 coins a piece. They were very, very cheap. SBCs in general have been a lot cheaper this year. Last year during Future Stars, we had party bags as well that contained ones to watch, rule breakers, road to the finals, Future Stars, like a lot of different promo teams. Some of those like ones to watch not being that hype. And these costed 100,000 coins. I think for this player SBC right here, this Future Stars party bag, there's obviously a lot of great cards available, as we mentioned. There, I think this tweet says it here. Shout out to Foot Donkey for tweeting this out and do a little bit of research. There are 68 cards that are possible to pack from this party bag SBC. 25 of them, which is just under about 50%, are worth 200,000 coins a piece. He says, I can't be this party bag being cheap. Chances at Neymar, Ibra, Pogba, Salah, Bruno, Bellingham, Chalmany, etc. Right? There is a lot of potential from this party bag SBC. But again, as I look back and see a lot of SBCs, especially the upgrade pack SBCs throughout the year this year, I really think that today this party bag SBC is still only gonna cost you around 100,000 coins. I know there's a lot of great stuff that is in here, but if you have about 100 to 100 and maybe 50K max, I really think that 100,000 coin price range is gonna be where EA puts the price of this SBC today or tomorrow, whenever this drops. I think it might even be today on Wednesday on this game. Everybody's gonna prepare for, I think, that like 100,000 coin range. Now, SBC fodder is up, right? Cards on the market in terms of the fodder players on this game are up. 85s are 11, 12,000 coins a piece. 
after the big SBCs that we had yesterday, right? You take a look at these graphs. You see Cavani was like 9.9K. He rose all the way up to about 12,000 coins, you know, almost extinct. 85 rateds are actually about to be extinct on the market. So EA needs to do some price range updating if they're going to require more 85s. 86s are about 18K a piece. But I really think the potential here is if you're going to make an SBC that's about 100,000 coins, um, they could do it with two squads. And I really think they could do like an 83 rated squad with an inform and then maybe an 84 rated squad with maybe two informs or something like that. Um, that would get the price of this SBC up and it would focus on the lower tier fodder. So if you think that you're going to go ahead and do this party bag SBC whenever it drops, maybe go out and pick up an inform. Uh, those could definitely be required, not for sure. But what I would do is to play it safe, just maybe buy a couple of cards. I know that fodder is very expensive, but maybe stock a couple in your club so that you can do this SBC before it actually comes out because these are the types of SBCs that everybody's going to do just because that it looks insane. And I don't really think it's gonna be over 200,000 coins to do this. And a lot of people have SBC fodder in their clubs right now because they've been doing 80 plus player picks, right? And these, I just did three of these right before recording this video. And I got an 88, an 84, and an 84 in three player picks. These are really grindable and, you know, worth the gamble. And a lot of people are doing these to try to pack future stars, but they're also pretty good for crafting SBCs. I, see, I think people can easily get fodder with these player picks, but again, there are more and more coins being drained off this market because of how EA is doing this content right now. So with that being said, I do think that the fodder market could for sure rise when the Future Stars party bag is um, dropped in this game. I think you'll probably see if it's an 86 rated squad and that's like the requirement for this SBC, that would end up being pretty expensive. I think that'd be like 180,000 coins, maybe even a little bit more than that with the potential for fodder rising up a little bit. So I feel like it's gonna be more of the 83 to 85 fodder that was that is needed for this SBC um, and maybe an 86 card or two. So if you wanna go prepare, that's maybe how you can prepare for some of these cards. You know, informs are already up in price. I believe like all informs are like 11, 12 or 13,000 coins on this market right now. Uh, they're up like two to three K a card, I believe. If you even search like gold team of the week, I think this stuff is just all up, right? The cheapest team of the week on the market. Yeah, 14, 15,000 coins. All of these cards have gone up even for like the 76, 78 rated ones because there's been a lot of inform requirements lately. If they do back-to-back -back days requiring informs, that's gonna make those go up even more in price as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. And as of right now, you know, since it's so soon after this code has been dropped, I don't see 84s going up a lot right now. But I think what you're going to see is, and maybe when you're watching this video, keep a look at this index 84, because since this code has dropped, I've already started to see some people sell off cards from these Winter Wild Cards team. Team of the Year Honorable Mentions have started to go down a little bit in price, especially on the lower tier. Uh, Kiesa is 215. Uh, Kunde is 220. That's not really low, but Jonathan David's 43k. Mendy is 39,000 coins, and especially on the lower tier of the Winter Wild Cards items, uh, I think you're going to see some of these cards drop. Like Collins, 46,000 coins. Ganduzi is just down 10,000 coins since I even started recording this video, because the cards that are going to get packed the most are going to be these types of cards. So again, just to put this a reality check in mind, yes, this SBC does look really cool but most likely you're gonna pack somebody from this lower tier section of this pack. But again, it's a fun gamble pack that so many people are going to want to go out and do, and I'm gonna do it, right? Because it's fun, and EA has got us hooked with this sort of content, but we love it, right? We love it because we love collecting these cards, we love the potential of hitting something big, um, and that's why you're going to continue to see, even into today on Wednesday, you're gonna see people that will go out and panic sell the cards that are going to be packable from this SBC. Now, of course, you open this pack and you get a, a either Winter Wild Cards, Honorable Mentions Team of the Year, or Future Stars item out of it. You're not going to be getting a tradable version, right? Let's say you open up this Winter Wild Cards pack and you pack yourself Romaine Lettuce. I call him Romaine Lettuce, Alessandrini, right? You're going to pack this guy. He's pretty cheap, right? That would be, you know, maybe like a Consolation W. 42,000 coins, but a pretty fun card and, you know, a kind of a FIFA legend, whatever, right? Um, but you know, the card that you pack is not going to be tradable. So what's going to happen is, yes, this Alessandrini is going to get panic sold and it's going to drop in price leading into the SBC and maybe even after the SBC drops because this is a lower rated card and it's cheaper. 
so people are going to pack it a bit more. But let's talk about something through here, right? Talk about Winter Wildcard's Raheem Sterling. He's like 440,000 coins. Wow, he's even more than that. Whoa, 460? Raheem Sterling is rare right now, right? This guy is very, very rare on the market. Um, and he's usually about 440 to 450K. Right now he's 470, so he's up. But this is the type of card that's not going to be packed that much from the SBC today. Or if you think about even some of the future stars that are high in price right now, Smith Rowe. Right. This is the type of card that we're not, that you know you're not going to see packed very often from the party bag SBC today or tomorrow whenever it's released. But if you see panic selling on these types of cards, this is where you have the biggest potential to trade and to make coins on this market. Now the only caveat and the only problem with this is that I will tell you, if the player SBC, if the party bag SBC comes out today on Wednesday, Wednesday is not a really big buying day for the market. But I think what you could see is with this potential um, panic selling and with the price drops that you see today, once the division rivals rewards get paid out late Wednesday night into Thursday morning, that is when a lot of people switch on into buy mode as they go out and buy teams for their weekend leagues, for qualifying for weekend league. Um, and after they get those rewards, you see a lot of the market rise most Wednesdays. And in the Thursdays, we see that. So what today might present an opportunity for is buying some of these cards that get panic sold and drop in price that are meta, that are popular, that people are going to use in their teams and see them rise into the next day or so, especially if it's somebody that you want for your team. I almost guarantee you, we've already started to see a little bit of this panic selling, but you're going to see more panic selling today into Wednesday as we get closer to the content drop, unless... We hear leaks or we hear information that the party bag SBC is not going to be today. Again, I think that it is going to be today. That's just my prediction. We got the prediction right yesterday with the mid prime icon pack. So we're going to hold tight to our luck and hold tight to our uh, guns again and guess that it's going to be today. And we'll go with that. But th that's a big SBC, right? Everybody loves these party bags. And we see this type of SBC impact the market so much. Even yesterday with the reunion, the, the Future Stars reunion player pick. It was kind of the same scenario, right? A gamble pack where people panic sold cards and then they rebounded back and then the market lost coins because fodder went up and people were buying these cards. But again, just to give you a summary, I think that this Future Stars Party Bag SBC dropping, in my opinion, today or tomorrow on Thursday, one of the two is going to cost somewhere around 100,000 coins, maybe a little bit more. And if it's really cheap, maybe a little bit less. I think it is going to make fodder go up a bit and... Uh, you're going to see some more panic selling on this market today on Wednesday or even tomorrow on Thursday if it is dropped. Then this other the pack that is in here is called the Future Stars Foundation Pack, which contains four gold rare, gold rare players rated 80 or higher, one Future Stars swap token, and a Future Stars loan player pick on seven games loan. This is a store pack. Now, I know that the, the Party Bag SBC says store pack as well. All the packs that are added to the code... They say store pack, but this pack right here, this Future Stars Foundations pack, that is legit a store pack. And what that is, is that is the pack that EA is going to put in the store. And I'm searching and I'm finding right now, uh, I'm getting into the store through the FIFA points mode because I have a card in my unassigned. Um, but this pack is going to show up in FIFA today, in my opinion, today or tomorrow, that Future Stars Foundations pack is going to show up and it's going to be like, Two or 300 FIFA points, really cheap, but then it's going to cost you like maybe 50 or 60,000 coins. And that's going to be what EA describes as our foot future star swap token pack available in the store. So if you're somebody who's trying to get all of the different swap tokens, that's going to be the pack where we receive a um, foot future star swap token uh, through the store. They said they were going to make, I think it was just one token available for this through the store. Uh, and that's our token right there, I believe. That's what that pack being added to the code means. So it's going to be another great day on the market with making coins with this SBC. If you have fodder, you know, I mean, a lot of people are probably going out right now as I'm recording this and looking to invest in some of that fodder, those, those low to mid rated cards that they think are going to go up. But again, seriously, if you're looking to trade and make coins today, watch the higher tier cards. Watch for percentage, big percentage drop offs, whether the, before the SBC or after, like Bruno Fernandez, right? Honorable mentions card. 
this guy's not going to get packed that much from that upgrade party bag SBC. So that's the kind of thing to keep in mind, but also keep in mind that as you're seeing prices dropping, and just like we saw yesterday on FIFA, as you saw prices dropping with the SBC that was put out, that uh, foot um, player pick, the reunion, I don't even know what to call this thing, a foot future stars reunion player pick, you see some cards that don't rebound back up as high as they were, right? Perfect example is this Rodrigo. He was 290, almost 300,000 coins on the PlayStation and 224 on the Xbox. The SBC came out yesterday that he was a part of, packable, untradeable though. He went from 290s all the way down to 260. Now he's rebounding back. He's about 280K. So he didn't rebound all the way back to 290 and he didn't rebound all the way back to 220 on the PS. He's still, you know, close, but not quite there. That's what I would watch out for with Team of the Year honorable mentions, the future stars items and the winter wild cards. I would really be careful with these cards and watch their rebounds because I really don't think I'm going to sit here and tell you, hey, let's say this Fabinho, who right now is, you know, actually undercut. He's usually 400K. Let's say this Fabinho card goes all the way down to 350. I wouldn't really expect him to go back up to 415,000 coins or 420K what he was yesterday because, again, the market is losing a lot of coins right now because EA keeps releasing a ton of SBCs that are draining coins off the market. Yesterday, they released that reunion player pick, which is about 121,000 coins, right? It was an 85 rated squad with two informs. And they released the mid or prime icon pack as well, which was cheaper than the last time they put it out. But a lot of people, and this is why you saw the market drop yesterday and why we talked about at the beginning of this week, how I really thought the market was going to continue to drop down overall in value. And as you saw, a lot of prices do that yesterday. It's because of EA right now is putting out these types of SBCs where people are selling cards because they want to get coins to go and do these sorts of SBCs and get the packs and have fun on the menus of this game because, oh my goodness, you know, you could pack somebody insane. So that's kind of what's going on with the market right now at the moment. And that's why, again, if you're looking for drop offs today to try to make coins and try to buy and invest and flip cards on the market, Make sure that you're getting big percentage point drop-offs on cards that are rare, popular, and meta, right? The same thing from yesterday. I picked up two Joao Felix yesterday at 620,000 coins in the panic selling when he dropped off because I knew that this card of Joao Felix is popular, meta, and very rare, right? So he went all the way down to 620. It was about right here, like right after the SBC was released. I bought two of these at 620. And I sold them both. I actually sold them a little bit uh, early, I guess you could say, because right now he's back up to almost 680,000 coins, or he's right here at 680. I sold both of mine at 677. So 670, I think, flat and 677. So that was a nice bit of a card that got panic sold and bounced back. And that's exactly what you can do today with these cards with that party bag SBC when it does get dropped. But again, just remember that right now in this game, a lot of coins are being taken off of the market as it stands uh, at the moment. And, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who's also like, man, I don't quite have the SBC fodder to do this, or I'm broke and I got nothing to do, um, you know, there's, there's great trading opportunities, as we said, but if you have a few coins and you want to try to craft, you know, one of these SBCs, again, this 80 plus player pick is, is really good for stocking fodder in your club and on this game. So, that's what I would say for that as well if you're looking to get some fodder. Now, right now, I almost have all of my coins liquid. Not quite. This is the last two days of flips for me. It's been a pretty busy last two days. You know, not every single card in here is a win as well, right? Like a lot of these Ganduzis you see here sold at 275, 274. I bought like eight Ganduzis yesterday at uh, 240 to 250. They were somewhere in that 240 to 250 range. Sold all of them at like 270, 275. So that was nice. Some of these Tomiyasus were from um, the Sunday night into, into Monday. And uh, a couple of these other random cards in here as well. Like, like this is this case I bought at 97K. I lost some coins on Elmas, right? I bought a couple of these at like 112, 113. Had to sell those for a bit of a loss, right? Jonathan David, I bought this for like 60K two days ago, trying to flip him for like 70, right? And now he's 47,000 coins. So we definitely are in the positive because of these flips, right? I bought a bunch of Freds. Um, I had to sell a couple at 250, but I had to, I sold some other ones at 230 to get out. Bought some Tiago Jalos at 255. Sold a lot of those at 280, 270. So there's a lot of profits in here, but there's also a few losses, right? And that's just the nature of trading in a market like this, where you have a lot of coins being devalued from it. 
is you have a lot of people that are um, losing coins and selling cards, and those cards don't always bounce back to where they were. Take a look at Ferran Torres. 1.35, that's a pretty big undercut, and that got bought. But you're seeing these future stars, even as I'm recording this video, these cards are literally just dropping in price. Um, and I mean, a lot of these cards were a bit too expensive, again, as they have ballooned up a lot on the market in the past couple of days. Um, but now, especially on the lower tier cards, like maybe it's uh, a guy like Tomiyasu, you'd be very, very careful with today because this guy's probably gonna get packed a decent amount from that party bag SBC. You, got, you have to be careful with this guy, right? Yes, he's a Prem right back. Yes, um, he's an exciting transfer to a big club in the Premier League. First special card that he's had on FIFA and it's a cool item and with good stats, but a lot of people are gonna be packing these lower tier cards and that's why you're seeing the panic selling and it's going to continue to happen. So it's going to be a crazy day of content today on a Wednesday um, with all the stuff that is going to be going on in this game. Now, last couple of things I want to talk about. If you were confused about the SBC yesterday, which I was definitely confused right away when it dropped, the Foot Future Stars reunion player pick, it's like, Nate, I did this SBC, but it still shows that it's here, right? Well, this is the new, there's limited repeatable SBCs. It's a repeatable SBC that you can complete a certain number of times. So let me explain this, right? You can do this Future Stars reunion player pick once, but it doesn't expire for three days. But in one day and 14 hours, it's going to open up again and it's going to be able to be repeated again. So technically this SBC is out for three more days, but in two more days, you're going to be able to do it again. Same thing with the mid or prime pack that was released yesterday. You can repeat it two times, um, but then after you repeat it twice, then you have to wait. And I think, and it may be a couple days as well, but I didn't do this, so I can't see. And then it re-ups again, right? That's the new limited repeatable. So it shows as repeatable, but it's not like you can just do it over and over and over and over, right? You have a limited number of repeats. So that's a very new and interesting concept. As long as they never put a cap on the number of repetitions for like a player pick like this or for an upgrade pack, we're going to be fine. But other than that, I think it's cool. And honestly, um, it's just different. It's brand new content that we haven't seen ever before. So GG's EA, that's, you know, another kind of cool thing that they added to this game as well with what's going on right now in future stars. Also content wise today, um, we have a new team of the week. I don't have any leaks for the team of the week. I don't think that Messi is going to be in. So my hope of Messi, you know, upgrading to a 96 uh, I do have this card that I'm trying to sell and trying to flip. It doesn't look good, right? It doesn't look good. I think I'm going to maybe get out as a break even as I bought it just over 2 million coins and he's only up about 150k. So it's it's a, it's a small flip there if any profit for our Messi um, because I don't think he's going to get in team of the week. But we, I don't have any leaks on that right now. I'm sure that we're going to have some leaks soon. So we'll be keeping an eye on Twitter for all that stuff that's going on. Um, in, in today's game. So yesterday as well, I just had to point this out because I know you, a lot of you guys are like, dude, what happened with Genduzi? Why was he down in the first place? This yesterday was a huge leak. Um, and I don't know what's still going to happen with this. We're still hoping for some more clarification because they added four players from Marseille listed as SBCs um, into the game. So there was a huge leak yesterday with a lot of people panic selling that Genduzi, Kamara, Gay, and Saliba all potentially getting cards. It's wild that they're going to release four cards from the same club. So we're going to need some more information and some more, um, I guess, just in some more information on this. Now, it is, again, a leak. So you see a lot of the market reacting right now to just, just a leak, right? You see a lot of that that panic selling and that drop off here with Genduzi and all of the, basically, he dropped 100K yesterday, He right? He went from 340,000 coins all the way down to 240 rebounded back up in the 270s and now he's coming back down again with this uh party bag leak but this was the crazy leak yesterday that caused a lot of french league on uh midfielders to drop in price and uh that's a lot of impending panic was because of that sbc so as we get more information we'll cover that and we'll talk about that but today's gonna look like a really interesting day on this uh on this game right and what i'm kind of doing right now is getting all my coins liquid once I uh, can sell this messy card, um, then you know I'm pretty much liquid. I still have some Donnarumma's. Uh, I'm just gonna keep holding on to those, I think. But once I can get this messy out, which I got him again at 2.04, then I think I'm gonna get my coins liquid, and it should be a pretty fun day today on FIFA 
with that party bag SBC either coming today or tomorrow. I really think it's going to be today though. That's just my opinion. Watch out for some more leaks this morning, maybe confirming that. But party bag SBCs, people love them. There's always a lot of hype around them. And this one is the hype is already beginning to happen. So if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. But of course, give it a thumbs up to this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate, the foot account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.